Hello guys, I'm Josh Wade 600 Today I'm going to be trying out games on the Morph Cat Games Collection 1 cartridge here on the Evercade. So to start this off, I just want to say, just like how the Intellivision uh, Collection 2 came with like uh, some nice reference cards, the uh, Morph Cat Games Collection came with just some uh, little, uh, you know, cards for the games. They're not really like help or anything like that one was, but like for example, four of these are student ID cards. Uh, for the uh, characters of Micro Mages, which is really cool. So, for example, for the Yellow Mage, it says, Works well in groups, but keeps a low profile. Rivalry with the Pink Mage is a matter of concern. Pink Mage, straight-A student, but uncooperative in group projects. Needs to learn value of cooperation. Green Mage is effort in classes poor, except during treasure-related activities. Keep away from valuables. Whoops, and then uh, the blue one is uh, clumsy, unlucky, and accident-prone. Responsibilities should be kept to a minimum. I love, like, the, um, the, the profile picture they use on the blue one. of just him being all dizzy. It's really funny. The, the QR codes on the back of them are, like, unique per card. But when I scan them, it led to a dead page. So I don't know about that. But yeah, and then finally, there's one more card that says uh, Beef on the back, and it's for Super, Pat uh, Super Bat Puncher. Bat Excommunication and Eradication Force, Earth, and the character's name is Roast. And yeah, Captain, or Rank Captain, Weapons Training, Bat Punching Gloves. So yeah, it's just, it's, th these are just cool little things um, that are, that were in the case for the cartridge. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I want to sort by title. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to be basically going in order here, and I'll do Micromage's second quest. Actually, I'll just do it after Micromage's, yeah. But I'm, that one's probably not going to get too much time just because the controls are the same. It's just going to be different levels. So yeah. But yeah, we're going to start with Bobble. Bobble is an exploration-centric platform game with a difference. You're only safe in the water. Dive below the surface and spring back up to uh, jump to new areas. Uncover power-ups and increase your abilities and do your best to track down the missing duckies before you escape. History. It was developed in just one month as a competition entry, but Morphcat continued to expand it. The version you have here boasts many new features over the original. Katie says, having trouble? Try playing Zen mode where you can't die. Too easy? Hit up the randomizer and shuffle where those duckies are. Yo, randomizer? Oh, that's per that's really cool. Okay, so Bobble's on page 16 of the manual. Um, tip, the deeper you dive, the higher you'll jump. Okay, and fact. It was originally programmed just one month as a submission for this competition. It was inspired by childhood bath time antics, such as pushing a buoyant object down into the water, letting it go, and making a b big splash. Okay. <laughs> and then the control is just you move bubble and B to dive, and then release it to jump. Okay. That sounds cool. So yeah, we'll start with bubble. Bobble 1.2. Oh. Display settings. Pixel perfect. Because it was on a full screen from the last time I. When I was on Gremlin doing actual soccer. Okay, uh, let's look at options before we start. Show, ghost, no data, no music, no bells, Zen mode, power ups as checkpoints, ducks as checkpoints, duck randomizer. That's really. Oh. The options. Okay, and then, and then here's your randomized seed. That's so cool that there's actually a randomizer in this. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to start. Three, two, one, let's pickle. Okay. It's not a lot of uh, music so far. It's very quiet. Let me turn it, turn it up a little bit. Oh, I can't go any deeper than this? I guess not. I guess I can only go in the light blue water, not the dark blue water. Oh, I just died. Okay, so I can't touch the walls. Can I touch the wall under the water? No, you can't. Okay, so you're literally... So you're so you're a bubble. I guess I should have exp expected that by the name of Bobble. And then, yeah... Huh. Oh, this is hard. Okay. 
So I got a bell. I assume the bell is a checkpoint. Okay. In a way, honestly, this reminds me of VVVVVV. Dive bobble. Go deeper. Okay. Now, does this, uh... Do these drip, drip drops kill me? No, they don't. Okay. Uh, huh, oh my god. Like, just a one jump is scary. Okay. Huh. Huh. Aw. I popped. Ah, I popped again. Okay. okay. Fine, everything is fine. Whee! Okay. I actually wanted to pop right there. Because up there, that looks like it's one way. I want to go over here first. Or do I? I'll make a safe state right here. Oh, wait. Why can't I go? Okay, never mind. I can't even go that deep here, even though it's light blue water. Ouch. Okay. Hey, checker point. Oh. Rip. Let's see. I did a big jump over the bell all the way at the bottom then. Then you can you can change the level you jump at if you like do it too much. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't do good enough, but it says doable. Like that. Hey. Do I want to go back down there? Or do I want to go down there? Seems like there are two ways to go. Okay, I'm gonna save state. And jump down first. Hmm. Is there a reason to go over here? I can maybe make that back over there, but do I want to? I don't think so. Hold on. I see there's like a little thing right there. Ah. Like can I can I get up there from here? No. Checkpoint. So I haven't found any ducks yet. Yeah, as expected, that popped me. Hmm. Wonder if I can get up to that checkpoint. Yes. My question is, where does this take me? Actually, I'm just gonna pop myself. So, so that's where I, that's where the left goes. Where does the right go? Ouch. Okay. 
And what's up here? The clouds? This is like, I, I, I can't make a decision about where I want to go. Like, I can't decide. I'll just go here. Oh my god. Actually, oh yeah, I'll go here. Dang it, come on. Because I can get back down and run like through this right here. So there's no harm in, in this checkpoint. I can always go back around. Well, like that. <laughs> but not quite. Okay. Okay, maybe that was the wrong way to go entirely. I'm starting to think I made the wrong choice. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I get back in that one? Ah, come on. This is an interesting game. Okay, I can't get back in this one. But that doesn't actually help me. Yeah, because I can't. Oh my god! So yeah, I actually have to go th go through this part again, which isn't a big deal, but okay. okay, up here. What's over here? I already saw that. Okay, checker point. Whoops. Okay, checker point. Checker point. Now where's all this? Oh no. Where's all this go? Okay, that, no, I already saw that waterfall. And I want to say that... Can I even dive down that deep? Maybe. Dang it. Oh my god. This is really hard. No, I can't actually go down that deep. Okay, now we're just going to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the bubble to the left. Where are the ducks and where are the other things? Okay, go in here. Check our point. Okay, so I get to control how exactly I go in these pipes, which is cool. Now where is it going to drop me? Okay. Was that dirty bubble down there? This, this is interesting. I know I'm interesting. Thank you. Okay. I just want that dirty bubble.
Hey, okay. Iron Bobble, no limits. I still popped myself. How did I do that bounce? Hmm. How does the iron work? Hmm. Sure. Okay, how did I t what? How did I do it that time? No. Somehow I did, and I don't know how. the iron w one work okay it works when you're holding a going down okay so that means okay I got it checker point I don't know why I did that. Um, why I didn't just die and go into because uh, I did get a checkpoint. It's like why is this little pool right here? It's not a duck yet. All right. Um, I think this is a good place to stop for now for Bobble. Um, because here we were just trying it out 15 minutes in though. That, I like that a lot. Especially the fact that there's a randomizer. So, that's going to be really cool. It was like, I haven't seen a duck in, uh, yet. So, I don't know. But yeah, next up is Micromages. <laughs> Micromages is an 8-bit platformer for up to 4 players. Work together or compete for score as you work your way up the 26 levels and 8 worlds of the Demon Fortress. Use the Micro Mage's wall jumping skills to reach tricky platforms and blast enemies with your powerful magic. History. Morphcat Games became famous for an Onlin video explaining how they fit a full game onto just 40 uh, kilobytes of ROM on a cartridge. Micro Mages was that game. Katie says, Reckon multiplayer is too easy? Hold select while starting a new multiplayer game with B to activate Blood Bonds mode. If one player dies, everyone dies. Okay, hold select while starting a new multiplayer game with B. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately right now I'm only one player. But uh, let's look at Micro Mages in the manual. Micro Mages. Uh, jump from platform to platform and destroy your enemies with spells. Will you compete or cooperate with your fellow micro mages? Okay, fact. It was crammed on a 40 kilobyte because the classic 8 bit platform it was developed for was only capable of dealing with this much data at one time. Larger cards had to use a method called bank switching to address different 40 kilobyte chunks of data at once. Okay. Tip for the ultimate multiplayer challenge. Okay, I'd already talked about that. So the char controls are move character. B jumps and wall jumps. A shoots, hold to charge, select, releases fairy, start pauses. And um, there's more in the manual about 
more basic controls about like spells. For example, spells, it says, shoot spell A, you can also shoot vertically, up A, down A. Shoot mega spell, hold A until you start glowing. Okay, tip, in midair, shoot a mega spell downwards to jump even uh, higher. This is called a recoil jump. And I'm pretty sure you're, you might, you're gonna need that from Micromage's second quest, actually. Yeah, and it says, for second quest, you'll need a master of the recoil jump to beat second quest. Charge up a spell and fire it downwards while in midair to blast yourself upwards. Okay. And then talking about ghost moves in uh, VS multiplayer, seagull moves, I don't know, create loot, scores, stuff, helpful items. Te remember, teamwork can be the success key to success, but don't forget that ultimately it's all about your score. Okay. Then it talks about the different levels, enemies. There, this manual is involved for uh, for micromages, but yeah, we're just gonna play it. We're just gonna try it. Okay. In long forgotten times, four mages set off to save their beloved princess from the demon fortress. Oh. Let's just sit through that. Okay. I like the music so far. Micromages. Oh, that was it. Three, two, one, let's pickle! One player, no password. Tower one one. Okay. You can dance by holding down, that's funny. Wait, it's an auto scroller? Okay, fire doesn't hurt me, thankfully. Okay. Those crates are floating! I mean, I, I get it, they're mages and there's magic and everything, but... That recoil jump didn't really work. Okay. Come on. Okay, I assume the flag is a checkpoint. Is there any information um, about lives or anything? the end of the stage. Oh, I could have gone in there. I didn't see those, the blocks at the side. Tower 1, 2. Three lives. Okay. Die. This would probably be really nice multiplayer as well. Hey. Die, bat. Hey. Good. Don't have a lot to say right now. Just playing the game. Okay, checker point. Can I jump down? Don't think so. Oh, that that thing is a chest. Okay, some kind of goat, which is interesting. What's that thing of skulls doing there? Can I get up there? Probably not. I see the end of the stage already. Okay. 
Okay. Got a feather. What does that do? Oh, it's for hovering. Oh. Die, bat. Okay. One, three. Okay. Goodness, that was really close. Okay. Bat, I need you to die. Hey. Okay. <gasps> One, two, three, four, die. Okay. Okay. Another feather, which I can't use. Whatever. I'll leave the bat alone. Okay, checker point. More. Okay, is this a boss stage? Yes, it is. Obviously, this is only the first boss show, so it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, right, I'm gonna save state here. I'm dead. Hmm, how do you dodge that attack? I guess you just have to be prepared for it. And then just do that. Okay. Oh my god. I just saved stay in the worst spot. Well, now am I at the boss fight? Okay. Let's try that again. I'll make a backup save right here. Okay. 
Oh, I was accidentally pressing the turbo button. Okay, I beat it. I'm gonna dance right now. Okay, password 2869. Save. Okay. Um, let's do another level or two before moving on to second quest. Is this a pipe? It is. Well, so I want to know what happens if I get a game over. I'm gonna see. Will I just restart the level? To pass or two eight six nine continue yes yes and then I assume I'll be at the beginning of the world or begin the level okay that makes sense wonder if you can get like if there are a way to get bonus lives All right, are these not anything not really. Get down. Okay, okay just climb through that. So I think after this level, I'll go on a second quest. Is that the end of the stage? It's an end, at least. I don't know if it's at the end, though. Hmm, how would I get up there? So one of, is it one of these? Yes. Got it. Okay. Three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna just save it here. Oh, two, eight, six, nine. So maybe it's the uh, the password is just the whole world and not just the the stage. Okay. Still, that was Micro Mages. Pretty good. Now onwards to Micro Mages second quest. Can't get enough Micro Mages? Challenge the standalone expansion featuring a suit of super difficult extra levels for you and your fellow magic users to take on. You'll need to use all the skills you learned in the original game to make it through this one. History so, uh, is an homage to classic 8 bit console games that feature an optimal new challenge after clearing the main game's levels or dungeons. Katie says, Yeah, you'll need to master the recoil jump. Okay. So we're just gonna head right into second quest. Micro Mages second quest. Uh, three, two, one, let's pickle. Tower one, one. Alright. 
Oh, those those bones do hit me. Do damage me. I didn't think they did. Because they didn't before. Well, now we know. Bones. Hey. Oh! Ah! Hey, fairy, I want you. Now, what is it? The select uses the fairy. What does it do? Oh, it just releases it. So maybe you can give it to, like, a... Like, a teammate or something. Ouch. Okay, I can see why that would be useful, but it would definitely be situational. But I can definitely see why that would be useful. That recoil jump. I, I need this skull to, to move. I want that feather. Die bat. Okay. So I have a feather and a and a and a and a fairy. I'm so good. So yeah, one, two. So we're already three minutes into this one. Okay. Wait, what? How did I fall through that? I don't like that. I didn't like that game. Better give me another fairy game. Hundred points right there. I don't like these bats. I don't like bats in games. It's always bats. I don't like keys or bad bats in Zelda. Okay. I can't jump downwards. There's a fairy. Want that. Okay. Okay, what's that? Another angry goat up there. Okay, kill the angry billy goat. And it, it shoots an angry bubble. Another feather. Bat, are you gonna kill me? Oh my god. Hey. Kill the bat! Kill it! Okay. Wow. 1 3. Ouch. Ouch. Well, I just lost the feather and the fairy.
Dang it. So I guess we'll see what happens if you get the game over on a not stage one of a world. Okay. Okay, there's a checker point. What the heck is that skull thing? Oh, it's angry. Can I kill it? I don't think so. I think it's just chasing me. Yeah, I'm dead. Well... Oh, I've, I forgot. There's a zeroth life. So I got one last chance. If I don't shoot it, it won't start running after me. See, that's a, that was a use for a recoil jump. I didn't need it right there, but it was useful. Alright, bye squash. Okay. Okay. I'm going to save state here just because I want to know what happens if I game over. Do I start? Uh, will it continue to start me back at 1-1? One, one? It does. Okay. So, yeah. It's the beginning of the world. Oh, it's the same boss. Well, that's a little bit annoying. It's a different... Uh, the the stadium is a little bit different. Dang it. Well, okay. Well, that's game over. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the next game now. But still, you no. Know, uh, that's uh, yeah. That's just more levels to uh, micro mages, and it seems like it's basically two full length games well one full length it's the double it's double the length of micromages one and it's considered a bonus game on here same thing with super bat puncher demo okay next up is space goals blending elements of a famous bird based aerial combat game and an equally famous series of action platformers that pitch you against robot masters Space Goals ta uh, tasks you with saving your chicks from a cyborg bird ar cyborg bird army are you up to the challenge History in early 2022, Space Goals was showcased at the AGDQ event where speedrunner Upla obtained 100% completion in 8 minutes and 16 seconds. Can you beat his record? Katie says, Space Goals is joyful solo, but it's even more of a delight if you share the experience with a friend on Evercade VS. Work together to save the chicks and bring Dr. Beak to justice. So, equally famous series of action platformers that pitch you against Robot Masters was that Mega Man and famous bird based aerial combat game. Joust? Maybe? Move space gold, jump and flap. It might be like Joust. Speaking of Joust, when's, when are we getting midway on here? Anyway, space goals. Fact, uh, no, that's where we read that. Tip, you only need to fight enemies in rooms with skull doors. The rest can simply be avoided. Okay. That That's it. <laughs> Space goals. 1.1. 1. 1. 3, 2, 1. Let's pickle. Go be a hero. Player 2. Press A to join. Made for Nesdev Compo 2020-2021. Okay. I like the music so far. Now 
Now, can I jump on them? I want to. I would assume so, because that's what you do in Joust. Yeah. Oh, that's an egg. Is there any kind of... The music doesn't pause when you're paused. It also doesn't... Uh, I was thinking, like, maybe there might be a different theme, but no, just the music doesn't stop. Another egg. Okay, so that's health. Save. So, maybe this was a tutorial? I don't know. Okay. Hey. It's up here. Uh, something. I don't know how many of these there are. There doesn't. So far, there isn't like any. Um. I was trying to pause at first to see if there is, you know, like some kind of status screen. Hey. Ouch. Alright, because I already beat it, um, the door is gone. Okay. Ouch. Whatever. Save. If the world record is only in 8 minutes and 16 seconds for 100%, that must mean this is a very short game, right? Which... If if it's a good game, it's a good game. But we also want I also want the games to be long, good and long. Wait, right, that one just keeps respawning them. But at least I was able to get full health. Hmm, where'd that come from? Okay, so there's something to the left. What's to the right? Health upgrade, perhaps? Or maybe it's just a, a max refill. Yeah, it's just a refill. Okay. I'm gonna avoid that for now. What was over here? Just in a, another full restore. Okay. I don't even know why I'm trying to kill that thing. I don't need to. I need to kill these ones though. So far, this game is really cool. Honestly, the in the indie games on Evercade all are, are like are always like the some of the best ones. So far, I have two of those things. Ouch. I need to find another full restore soon. 
or just more of the what's this red thing? Is this a button? Oh no. So it shoots diagonal, then up. These guys aren't that hard to kill. Okay. Good. Some health is always better than none. I shouldn't have opened that first. That was dumb. I, that was really dumb of me. Well, I'm almost dead. Hey. Dang. Where, where, and it blows me up back at the last safe spot, which was really far away. How is it? How is that one able to snipe me so well? Save. Hey. Man. This is a really good game, though. Holy moly. Like, I don't want to stop. And, like, I'm already... It does not feel like I've been going for eight minutes already. Yo, got a lot of health from that. Two ways to go. Ah, oh, there's a full restore there. I want that. Maybe it's not a full restore. Maybe it's like half, but. It's tough now. So there doesn't seem to be any penalty for um, for dying because there doesn't seem to be a score or anything. Yeah, and that health power that God's already been collected. So that means are all the skull doors closed? Yes. Okay. So, and I really like it when games do that too. Like don't pen like don't really penalize you from from dying except for, you know, just going back. There's no like game over or See that was see that was using my brain right there. Oh, I have to do this room. Hey. Don't need to worry about those things. Just uh oh, need to go down. Okay, full restore. At least to me, it's a full restore right now. 
Save! Okay, I think this is a good spot to stop for now. So, that's what I'm going to do. Quit. So, we're going to move on to the last game. Uh, Super Bat Puncher Demo. Because the uh, there was no full version, it was just like a tech demo, and it like so the dem so like the demo has been released on physical cartridges too. So at first I thought, oh, this is, might be like how Ronio Ronio's Tale had like you know a demo version f on the first cartridge because the, the full game wasn't done yet. But no, it's just this is the game. It's just called demo. Originally released in 2011 as a concept demo for a potential 8-bit platform action game, the Super Bat Puncher demo has become a beloved part of Morphcat history. Try it for yourself and enjoy what might have been. History, Super Bat Puncher demos developed, uh, uh, was developer Julius uh, Reiki's first attempt at making an 8-bit game with musician Blitz Lunar working on audio in 2011 It was released to the community and Morphcat Games was born. Katie says, if you're having trouble beating the Super Bat Puncher dem demo solo, bring a, bur uh, bring a friend to play as Sirloin. His deadly poop can make all the difference. Jeez. Okay, uh, Super Bat Puncher demo. Uh, fact, this game is the release that put Morphcat games on the map for many people, uh, and it was all thanks to its excellent use of the host platform's capabilities and its solid mechanics. Okay, and then the controls are you move character, A is jumps, and if you're the second character, you poop, B is fly uh, as the, the bird, and then jump as the captain. So jump and, jump and uh, fly. Jump, jump and punch. Jump and punch. Okay. And developer notes. Yeah. And then it just talks a little bit about the enemies. The uh, beef is the bad excommunication extradition force. Okay. Cool. So that's what the beef was on that uh, card. So I, I let's go. Super bad puncher demo. Morphcat.d. Okay. Super bad puncher demo. Press start in three, two, one. Let's pickle. Okay. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Look at that pickle boxing glove. That's funny. Already. <laughs> what? Oh. And there's recoil! Oh my goodness, help! Hey, please, please get me out of here! Whoa, you're strong, thank you! I spot this delicious bacon slice with nobody around to eat it. So I stopped to investigate and one moment later and I was trapped in this cage. Bacon? Boy, that was totally worth it though. What an exquisite snack. I wonder if I can like make it up there with that just by jumping. I want to know what the limits are for jumping. Hmm. Okay. You're not from around here, huh? I am Sir Loin, guardian of the spirits that inhabit this planet. I am afraid of nothing. Ha ha. Okay, so this is the bird. Oh god, look. Look at that turbo button. That's funny. Okay. Oh, it's always curious to see what the turbo button does in these games. Ha ha, what is this thing doing here? I thought you weren't scared of anything, Sir Loin. Ouch. I thought that was like a thing to go into, but no. Hey. Hmm. Oh, you're still alive. Ahem. <laughs> Bad news. The spirits used to live here, but they are gone. It's all my fault. I must go check what's wrong. Why is it your fault? What did you do, Sir Loin? Actually, I could use a helping hand. Without the spirits' protective magic, this place is not safe anymore. Who knows what dangers lie ahead? Will you help me? Okay. Okay and fine. 
<laughs> Sir uh, Loring joined you. Invite your friend over and press start on controller 2. Okay. Can you duck? No, there's no ducking. I'm gonna make it a safe state. Yo, the music! So good! Hey. So you can punch one way, then move in the other way. So that's good to know. You have like, you do have f like f very fluid controls here. So what's in that chest? Bunch of co ah, my coins! Please. Okay. I don't know if they disappear or not. Oh. Well, I am a super bat puncher, so might as well punch these bats. Aw, yeah. oh, dang it. The controls are a little slippery. I know, like I said, we do clearly have full control, and there's like we have control of the momentum and everything. But it is still a little slippery. But this is a tech demo from t 2011, so. Just not nothing. The controls, like uh, it's a little bit slippery. You just you just need to get used to it. Okay, so far so good. Do they respond? They do. Beware of drippy slimes. Okay, I'm gonna make a safe state. Oh. Okay, they hurt you. Okay, I just wanted to test that. So they hurt you uh, when falling, and then after, they're used as a trampoline, okay? Oh yeah, that was really fun. And actually, look what the turbo button can do. That's really interesting. Okay, um. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can get up there, at least not yet. Drippy slimes. Okay. I like how the bats just explode when you kill them. Or when you punch them. Is there really anything... Is there really not anything up here? Hmm. I guess not. Okay. We're already seven minutes in. It feels like I just started. And this is the last game on the cartridge, too. That makes me sad. This is a great cartridge. It really is. I love the indie games. This is why I'm saving the Indie Heroes cartridge, uh, the uh, Collection 1, uh, for the last cartridge that I do. Recording wise, but I know I'm gonna love all of those. Okay. I wonder what the, the coins do. Upgrade acquired wall boost. What does that mean? Oh, yo, okay, okay, hold on. Hold the phone. I think now I can go back. 
You're so you're so that this is actually a thing that you kind of need. This is cool. Hold the phone. I need a seat. I need. I need. Imagine if they're like they put a secret right there. That'd be cool. I'm already imagining what this could have been, and it makes me sad that it. It's not in that it, you know, never got finished. Is there a secret here? There's something. Right, I'm just gonna load the safe state to back to where I was. It'll just take too long to get back here. Otherwise. Now, do the bats give coins again? They do. Hmm. So you can farm coins. Maybe, uh, maybe they give lives. 100 coins, maybe. Okay, I'm on the other side of this. The other side of the door with your face and the beautiful eyes and the conversation with the little white lies. Let's, let me guess, there's gonna be uh, an upgrade for like explosions or something. Okay. Huh! Come here, bat. I'm gonna punch you. There you go. How'd you like that fist? Or it was really a boxing glove, but... Okay, slimes. Just trying to explore everywhere. I guess I'll go down there now. Yep. That's really cool. I'm already at ten and a half minutes, wow. Like, I don't know how long this is. But basically, I wanna play, th I, I'm pro I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna, at some point, finish every single game on this cartridge, definitely. These will be, uh, short, fun but short LPs. Or I should say short but fun LPs. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't maybe Micromage's second quest won't be that short, but because <laughs> that one is seems pretty hard. But that'd be the exception. And then also because Bobble has a randomizer. On. Bat. This bat doesn't want to get punched. Not. I can't say I blame it, but I'm trying to punch. It's only. It's only. It, it's only uh, polite for it to get punched. Okay, music's different. Is this the boss? Some kind of boss-like thing. Wonder if the wonder if this is the end of the demo. Like after this. Oh. Oh. Thank you for rescuing me. Monsters are everywhere. They have abducted me and my sisters. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, refilled my uh, lives. Please find my sisters. Together, we'll be able to restore peace and balance. Okay. Good luck. No, there, there's at least more than just stage one. So... Yeah, this this goes on. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop then uh, for Super Bat Puncher demo. So yeah, that's it for the Morph Cat Games Collection One. I love all of this. I really do. Um, if I'd have to like, oh, if I had to pick a, I I I want to try to answer this. If I had to pick a least favorite, but I don't know because they're all so different. Um, I can't. I love them all. Um, fine, I would say Micromage's second quest. Just because it's, even though it's only different levels, but it's the same music. No, no, I'm just joking. No, it's all great. It really is. Um, amazing, amazing collection. Wow. Okay, um, ending the recording, not ending the stream. Great collection. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a nice time. I'm Joshua600. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch where you can watch this stuff live. And yeah, okay. Goodbye.